Hi, welcome to my channel Tech Ranch, the place where you learn and earn technical skills in the easy and the best way. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about JDBC API, Java Database Connectivity, Application Programming Interface. And in this video, we are going to cover Chapter 4, JDBC Driver Connection. In this video, I am going to cover as much as all about the JDBC Driver Connection establishment process. And along with that, I am going to show you the demonstration, the complete implementation, how we can con establish a connection from Java to database with the help of JDBC API. So let's start a little bit about JDBC connection. When we say a connection, it means the session between the Java application and the database server. The connection interface is a factory of statement, prepare statement and the database metadata. That is object of connection can be used to get the object of statement and database metadata. I know it sounds a little complicated. So let's talk about it in the simple words. What do you say? The connection interface that provides many methods for transaction management. So that's all about the JDBC driver connection. I mean, we are establishing a connection from Java application to the database. While implementation of the driver connection, I am assuming here and using the thin type 4 JDBC driver. It's a pure Java driver, the most efficient and most popularly used for making an efficient software application. We have discussed about these drivers in the previous videos. Before we start implementation of JDBC driver connection, first and for all, we have to import the JDBC packages. Adding important statements to your Java program to import required classes in your Java code. The import statements tell the Java compiler where to find the classes you reference in your code and are placed at the very beginning of source code. To use a standard JDBC package which allows you to select, insert, update and delete data in SQL tables, that's what we need to do. So with respect to the important package, we have import java.sql star, the package which we have to import it in the beginning. It will be more clear when we start implementation during the demonstration. Let's discuss about the five basic steps of JDBC thin driver connection. These are the five steps to connect any Java application with the database using JDBC API. The first step is the register driver class. Registering the driver is the process by which the Oracle driver's class file or any dra database driver class file is loaded into the memory. So it can be utilized as an implementation of the JDBC interfaces. There are two different ways to register JDBC driver. Method one, class.forName. The most common approach to register a driver is to use Java class.forName method. It's actually dynamically loading the driver class file into the memory, which automatically registers it during the execution. So this method is most preferable because it allows you to make the driver registration configurable and portable. And the second approach is using driver manager dot register driver method. The second approach you can use to register a driver which is to use the static driver manager register driver method. Since it is a static method type of method, you can actually used when you have any kind of non-JDK compliant JVM. At that time, you can use this, which is one actually provided by the Microsoft. So these are the methods we can use to register the driver class. The second step is the create connection object. Create connection can be implemented with the help of three different types of methods. One approach says you can do implement the create connection. You can create connection between the database and the Java application using database URL with username and password. Or you can give only using only database URL and you can use 
using database URL and properties object. It depends what type of software requirement you have in your application. If it is highly secured database, then you can use the first approach database URL with user ID and password. And if your database supports open end application, then you can have using only database URL. And if it is a native type of application which is in the different platform execution or deployment at that time you can use a database url and property object step four we have create statement where you are going to compose the complete uh, sql statements because once we have established the connection then all we have to work on the creating interaction with the database with the help of these interfaces like the JDBC statement, callable statement, and the prepared statement interfaces defined with methods and properties that enable you to send SQL or PL SQL commands and receive data from your database. So this is what we need to make a statement from Java and send it to the database to execute it. We need to create statement. To Execute these statements. We have execute method. There are three types of execute method which is available in our library execute update execute query execute It is uh, in different form with different syntaxes and uh, so Scenario you can use it accordingly and last not the least we have close connection Which is required every time whenever you create a connection to maintain the memory management So this is all about the steps to implement and connection establishment from Java to database. As I mentioned in my last slide about the database URL formulation, if you see here, you have Oracle server and for registering the driver, you need to pass the driver name. Class .4 name is Oracle JDBC driver, Oracle driver. And when you create a connection, you have to pass this URL, JDBC Oracle thin at local host if you are having a database at your own system or if you have a different server then you have to pass the host name or IP address over here and the port where database is installed and uh, the database name similarly you have for MySQL this is the driver name which you have to pass with the class dot for name or you can use it in the registering driver uh, the second approach while registering the driver and you can pass the URL during the connection may, may establish a connection or IBM database DB2 you have this kind of driver you have to pass the same driver name to the class dot for name and pass the URL to the connection and similarly for the Sybase this is the driver name and this is the URL so this is all about the theory about all the our connection and all it looks little complicated so let's make it easy to understand while implementation so this is before starting implementation all we have to install few softwares download and install java development kit from this oracle.com site you can download and install oracle express edition database server and we need eclipse ide this IDE is the most uh, popular and comfortable and I'm using it for so many years and it's really good. And when you will start work on it and you will feel better too. So I am I'm using Eclipse and Oracle database server and Java development kit already installed in my system. So let's get into the execution. As you can see, this is the Eclipse icon. And I have the Luna uh, version of the Eclipse IDE. Here I'm going to write up the code and execute it and connect it to the database directly. And uh, as we all know about Java, how it works. This is the Eclipse workspace. Whenever it starts in a fresh environment, it will ask you for the workspace and you can set it up. This is my workspace. I have my old applications here. And I'm going to create a new application with a right click over here. I got new and I'm going to make, to make new project. And this is the Java project. You can have more other projects too. It depends what type of app application you want to make it. I'm making a Java project. I'm going to write it down the name JDBC Demo Connection. 
this is my project name and I click on this and I see there is no file so far we will uh, right click on the source and I'm we will go to the new and from there we'll go to class and we will write down a class name here so I am going to write down JDBC demo connection this is my class and I'm gonna check on main method because I'm gonna write it down the piece of code within the main method to make it simpler there you go so this is my class file as we all know Java follow the object oriented programming concept so it understand only classes or objects so what we are going to make here we have to make a class file which inside has a main method so this is a class and this is the main method so as I have discussed you before in the slide if you see what we have to do here first we have to import the packages what is the package name import java.sql star this is my package JDBC database packet next step we have registered driver class and driver class I'm gonna use class dot for name method this method I'm gonna define it in the, in the main class okay main method class dot for name as you can see it is already showing what type of function you need to open it and this is my class dot for name here I am going to write down my driver class because I have to register my driver class so Oracle dot JDBC dot driver dot Oracle driver this is my this is how I'm gonna register my Oracle driver in the class it says an unhandled exceptions I'm just gonna have a throws a exception because I'm not actually it is a standard code of standard that to maintain it in a try and catch exception handling process but to make it simpler to understand it basically just only for connection I'm just using simple codes so as I mentioned in this class for dot name this is all done the first step is done registered driver class is done next is you have to create the connection and I'm going to use it with the first approach database URL with user ID and password so for that I have to use driver manager dot get connection here I'm going to pass URL the URL which is JDBC colon Oracle type of database thin is my type of driver at local host there my database is installed my port number is 1521 and express addition this is my database name next I have to pass the username and password my username password is JDBC demo and password is test123 this is what they will ask you when you download and software and install Oracle database they will ask you for this this is all about for the driver connection it says again the same error the throws exception I'm just throwing the SQL exception and it is loaded next we are going to print the message that connection successful if you want to see you can create a connection object and pass the have a table in the database and retrieve it with the help of results set that we'll do it in the next video and let's see for this now 
and uh, see how it goes i have to execute it with the java application and it's going to throw some errors and the reason behind it it says it is not able to find out the oracle driver and you know why it is when you have an application you have to tell the application that we have to include our external jar files here i'll show you once again how i did it you have to go to the application your project right click on it go to properties and from properties go to the build path and from there you have to add external jars and i have a path where i have downloaded my classes 12.jar file which has oracle driver class file so here i am including my external libraries to the application and now if you will see it should work it says connection successful so this is how we can fix it now i want to show you one more important thing in this here if you want to see how my external jar file looks like this is my classes 12.jar file which i have downloaded from internet and just save it in my somewhere in the system and linked it to my application if you expand it you can see all these your javax.sql this is one of the import package and here you one looking for this oracle jdbc and this is what the class file which we have included you can see these files are read only and you can see this here it is written like this this is what exactly the class file we have to include in our application oracle driver i hope you like this video and learned some more new thing and if you have any question please post it in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video Please subscribe this channel for more updates.